Whenever you're ready, sir. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mike Mellon with Tire Centers out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, store 560 on the commercial side. Uh, well, we deal with a lot of the heat. A lot of you guys don't know what that's about. So what I want to do today is present a, a situation that, not a situation, but a program that TCI has to offer the commercial side that helps with a lot of problems that our guys have, our customers have, which is invoicing, retreading questions and stuff like that. So I'm going to ask Mr. Mike, because he knows a little bit about the commercial side, to be my volunteer. Mike. Mike and Mike. With the Mike and Mike game. Right, Mike show. Yeah. If you would, please sign on to the TCI, to our Tire Center website, and pull up the... Where am I going? Oh, the website? Yeah. Let's go up there and put www.tirecenters. Yep, there you go. Where's the little clicker at, Jeff? Oh. I don't know. Oh, here it is. I hope I can operate this thing. If it's green on the side, then the red laser works. The laser is which one? The square one? The red line. Oh, okay. If you would, when you tell somebody to sign on to this, this is what's going to pop up the screen. And for them to go to the CIC program, you ask them to click on to where the customer login portal is. That little box is going to pop up. We're going to use a demo one. But as you sign somebody up on this program, they will have, to, they will have a username and password, and then they'll have to change it to no one else has access to it but that person. Type in C-O-M-M-D-E-M-O. LBB one one two four. Right there. You can. All right, and this brings up this little section right here, and that's what we want to click on, and then it's going to ask you to do it all over again. Same thing. C O M M. It's right there. Just click on it, and then hit submit again. All right, all this brings up every bit of the information that they probably are going to have questions about. The most important thing on a commercial side is invoicing. They don't get them in a timely fashion. It's not right. It's whatever. You can tell them to click on this portion of the thing where it says billing. Each one of them, the one that says open, is like an open status of work orders. You can click on it. This is all, and you can click on this is every work order that they have in the system. It will be under their store number. Uh, on the commercial side, the first three numbers is our center. And then the dates of every one of them, you can click on any one of them, it'll pull up what's on there. It'll give them, click on one of them. There won't be any pricing on this because it's in a DR status. Not sure why they put it as a DR status, but it tells what was done. It gives the quantity over here. Um, page down a little bit. No, right there. Oh, you can't see that. No, it's on the screen. There you go. Well, it's not on this one, but on a lot of spaces we'll have the unit numbers, the wheel positions, everything for the customer to be able to track what unit was worked on. Back out of that one, go up to where uh, close. Close again. And click on history. This portion of it is the actual invoice. They can click on one of them or they can find an invoice. They also can print off of this screen here their invoice where they don't have to wait for it to come into the mail. You can close on that one. 
This portion over here where it says the purchases, it gives them the whole list of everything they purchased for the year, which will help with their budgeting. And if they have any questions about how many tires they have bought for the year, you can tell them to click on the new tire port of it. This little nice little cheese thing pops up. No Green Bay fans in here, obviously. <laughs> you can click on the report details up at the, uh, go to your right, up at the kind of top right there, click on that. And once again, it pulls up everything that they bought for the year. It shows the brand, the quantity of every month throughout the whole entire year, up until this one only stopped at September. You can close out of that one. And close out of that one. Now hit the little red arrow at the bottom, uh, mid page. Right there. Then it gets into the great retread part of it where a lot of people have a lot of questions. Mr. Mike's probably aware of all of this. Biggest thing is, is why they have rejects. Well, this gives them all the questions they need to ask. And you can click on detail reports or whatever you want to click on. This portion of it tells them how many adjustments they had, how many repairs, how many rejects. They also, the search of work order, Mr. Mike will be able to tell you that, how that is important for the customer if you give them their work order that they write on what he was explaining earlier with the Bitred Mobile. Click on the rejects. That little pie shell pops up and you can tell them to click on any portion of the pie shell and it'll give you exactly how many tires on each one was done and you can hit the re uh, report details. And every tire that they sent in or have in their cap shop right now is on that list and it'll tell them exactly what process is going through, what's the cause of reject, the whole, every question that they're going to have, and trust me, they have a bunch. Mike, is this data entered from the mobile? The this data started? is not. What we're looking at right here are uh, uh, the reasons why it's jumped out. Now, from the bib, it'll jump out for age or number of times you're treading. That's usually the only two things that'll happen on the bib. But in the shop, when it's at the initial stand, we see we see a chafer ply separation, or it makes it to the buffer. You see a belt lift separation, or it gets to the repair stand. Damage too large to repair. Each of these codes are based on who found it, who found the tire, who found the problem in the tire, and that's why it could no longer be retreaded. Yep, this is only at the cap shop level. Okay. This information. Okay. After he's or whoever is entering in the bib tread. Once it hits the retread cap shop, whenever they receive them, because they go through there and they, we have to scan or sync our BibTread mobile, so they'll pull up on their system, then it goes through all this process. And the, one of the biggest things that a customer has a problem with, because most of the time they're mounting their own tires, big fleets, is bead damage. Bead damage is caused by their tire tech not lubricating the beads, using improper, improper tools, whether it's worn out, whether it's in a hurry. It may be four o'clock and they're getting off at five, they just running through trying to, and it rips the bead, that's automatic rejection. You, then we go into them and explain to them what's happened. TCI offers a mount and wheel program. At every shop we have is a mount and wheel program. We use the proper lubrication on every bead, which is the fry lube, the proper mounting equipment, and we're protected basically the tire from that point on. And I was noticing out in the lobby, do, do you, does every commercial center offer a wheel restoration? Yeah. Yep, that's another next thing we're gonna to get to is the wheel refurbing. That is another thing that a lot of people don't understand how very important a clean wheel is with the bead tearing the beads up. It's very important. The hardest thing for us to sell is that 
it doesn't cost a whole lot of money, but they don't understand how important it is. I don't know if out there they got the rusty one versus the clean one. The rusty ones will tear a bead up in a heartbeat. What's the turnaround time on the wheels? It's, it's a week. It's weak. Yep. They usually come in on the cat trailer. And